This is the moment of truth. Is it good? I really hope so. <laughs> I, hope so I need an ending to this video. <laughs> My first foodie mission into India brought me to two of its most massive cities, Delhi and Mumbai. This city is home to some of the most gigantic Indian food I have ever seen. Now I'm back with a special focus on northwestern India, starting our journey in the semi-arid deserts of Rajasthan. Every home has, has, has their own recipes, but this kind of food, not too many people know about. I'm here for food. I'm talking old-style desert cooking in the ground. Now they're going to cover it on top? Wow. Ajit and Uday are leading the way. They're the driving force behind Overlander India, with the mission of demystifying Rajasthan's many gems, including certain complex foods. You know how to eat rotis, right? Um... Yes. We'll be literally dozens of miles from civilization, and things are gonna get spicy. Wow, that is so much spice. But don't worry, I'm leaving some room for dessert. The ceremony is known as the Amal Sabha, which literally translated into English means opium ceremony. So grab your ghee, because we're doing desert cooking Rajasthani style. Before any feasting can begin, Ajit has invited me to be part of a welcoming ceremony with some locals. Welcome to the village, sir. That's a welcome tikka for you. Oh. A welcome tikka. What is the this significance is, of this? Is, whenever you are being welcomed into somebody's home, you're welcomed like this. Wow. People, sometimes you would garland somebody, but that's if it was a bigger occasion. Like if you were coming to attend a wedding or something. Yeah, this isn't that garland. big of an occasion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can go in now. All right, thank you very much. We're inside a mutt with the village head, who's about to offer his version of a welcome drink. This gentleman is Mr. Padam Bharti. Uh, nice to meet you. Thank you so much for having us. We are here actually to witness a very old ceremony. The ceremony is known as the Amal Sabha, which literally translated into English means opium ceremony. In the West, you would open a bottle of champagne. Over here, you share a little bit of opium. This type of ceremony traditionally uses real opium, but since opium is now illegal in India, we'll just use molasses and uh, pretend it's opium. All right. Hello, gentlemen. What do we have here? It's for the opium ceremony. What is being poured in there? Basically, one part opium, three parts molasses, then mixed with water, and then it's going to be filtered. So now he's going to offer it to the gods. Since I'm not wearing a turban, with my left hand, I would cover my head with my hand. With my right hand, the ring finger, I would offer some to the gods as well. Mm. And then I would consume it directly from his hand. I'll watch how you do it here. Okay, ring finger. Some to the gods. Mm -hmm. Should I do it in the same way? Yes, absolutely. All right. So he pours it onto his hand, covering my head with my left hand. And then slurp? Yeah, slurp it. Yes. The flavor is like a little bit of aspirin that's been diluted in water. It's, it's a bit bitter. It feels like one puff of a cigarette. Are we done here then? Yeah, we are pretty much done. How do I say thank you? Where do I say thank you? Dhanyavad. Dhanyavad. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Now that I'm all buzzed up on molasses, we're driving to the middle of the desert to the Overlander campground. Today we're sampling some old traditional Rajasthani recipes. Recipes that came about through absolute necessity, but delivered completely on flavor. Ajit, we have had our molasses. Yes. But what else is on the menu for today? So what we are going to do today is cook lamb in a very different way. We are going to cook what's known as cut lamb. The cooking is going to be done underground. It's going to be... Are these camels? Yes, these are camels. Whoa, these, these are, are just like the trees. This is cattle grazing land, so you'll see cattle, you'll see camels. Wow. So back to the cut. During war, the soldiers would use this method of cooking underground. Mm. They left no trace of it whatsoever. Right. We'll be making another lamb, which is known as jungling lamb. It's made with five ingredients. In the now, West, it's like five, that seems normal. In India, that's like, there's nothing in our dish. We're only using five ingredients. The idea behind this recipe is that if you got stranded somewhere, anywhere you were, you would have these five ingredients available. All right. Well, here we are. I guess uh, your team is going to get to digging. Um, yes. Uh, welcome to the Overlander team. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is going to take a while. I'm told this is the most important kitchen utensil we're using today, but, um, I think I need some guidance. Uday, hey man. How you doing? <laughs> this is yours. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, we're making a hole. It's two foot by two foot and yeah. then two feet deep. Yes. We're going to fill the bottom with coal and put uh, the leg of lamb and cover the hole with mud again. And we'll wait for about two hours. Oh, it takes two hours. All right, this is kind of a slow cooker, huh? Oh boy. 
Um, from here, the hole will be dug off camera. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Once the hole is dug, Uday walks me through how to perfectly spice our lamb. Right here, we have the leg of lamb. We're ready to prepare. Yes. Walk me through this. These are the spices that everybody knows. Cinnamon, cardamom, black pepper, cloves, coriander, turmeric, onion powder, and ghee. This is roasted onion? Yes. It looks like ground coffee. <laughs> All these spices combined yeah. create the garam masala, yeah. which is yeah. right here. Wow. Fragrant, aromatic, and, and very fresh. Take a pinch. Yeah, taste it. It's an explosion in your mouth, isn't it? Yeah, a little hot too. If you taste the marinade, it's very, very sharp, but the end result is very mild. After scoring the lamb, this baby is going to get an avalanche of seasoning. And it starts simply with some garlic and a basic marinade. What are you making in this one? I'm gonna make another paste of spices, which is gonna be mixed in ghee, and we'll pour it on top. So we start with red chilies. Coriander powder. Yeah. A little bit of turmeric, salt, ghee. In it. Oh, I'm gonna mix it. Yeah, that looks potent. Taste. Okay. Try it out. I mean, a buttload of ghee in here, which is a, a kitchen term. Oh, it's mild, isn't it? It's not sharp at all. Pretty intense to me. It's intense, but it's not hot, hot. All right, we've got banana leaves, yeah. tinfoil leaves, and then perhaps the most interesting part of this to me, I'm actually surrounding the whole leg with, with all these rotis. With the rotis. See, rotis also act as a buffer. It will not let your meat get burnt. Now you're gonna put on that lovely sauce. Oh, that's wonderful. Wow, that is so much spice. There's as much yeah. seasoning as there is meat on here. Is it impossible to over-season this? You can over-season it. It's always good to overdo it than underdo it. Once it's soaked in masala, the lamb is encased with even more rotis, banana leaves, and tinfoil leaves. This bundle is slid inside a damp burlap sack, protecting the lamb from burning. Finally, our lamb cooking apparatus requires a handle for easier retrieval. You'll see what I mean soon. So what's happening here? I'm just gonna moist this a little bit. The hole is now moist. Okay, so we've got the hot embers coming in, and then in with the meat wrapped in this soaked gunny sack. He's got kind of a wire handle on here. The embers are heating up that wet sack, and now they're gonna cover it on top, right? Yeah. Oh. Wow. The lamb bundle is topped off with even more embers and finally sand to lock in the heat. With no thermometer, the only issue remaining is having no idea if it's actually finished cooking. While we wait, Ajit introduces today's second main course. What's our second course today? It's called jungly meat. Jungly means wild, uh -huh. very easy to cook. Five key ingredients, ghee, which is clarified butter, red chilies, whole and in powdered form, coriander seeds, garlic, crushed as well as whole, and salt. And of course, then we have lamb. We're gonna start off by putting ghee. Once ghee has heated up a little bit, we're just gonna put everything else in together. Oh, beautiful. Instantly frying up. We got the whole chilies in there, chili powder. And what are you putting in now? These are coriander. And the seeds. A bunch of salt. Putting the garlic. Wow. Salt the five ingredients. And now we're going to be leaving it in here to cook. And that's it. Yeah. I love it. About 45 minutes later, our jungly moss is ready. Served on a fresh, warm chapati or Indian flatbread. Spritz it with some lime and prepare to have your breath taken away. All right. So I'm going to scoop up a nice piece of meat, super hot, and just soak up some of those amazing spices. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that is to die for. So simple, but so delicious. Just rich, incredible heat. It feels really complete for just being a handful of ingredients exactly. in there. Exactly. This is gonna be joining our meal with the cod lamb. We're gonna wait just a little bit for that Absolutely. and then take it up. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> About two hours has now passed. The lamb cud is finished, or just maybe finished. Uday seems to think the lamb is at least probably finished. How long has it been cooking now? About two hours. How do you know if it's done? I don't know. We're just gonna have to dig it up and yeah. see how it looks, huh? Yeah. All right, so we're removing all these hot embers. You're gonna use the pick to this. get around this loop of a handle here. And wow, what happened? Is everything okay? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> All right, perfect. Well, no wonder we need the wire on there. That would suck to get out otherwise. We can see the bottom here. It's not even burnt all the way through the gunny sack, but hopefully it's cooked all the way through. Uday removes the wire, burlap sack, and leaves, leaving us now with just the moment of truth. Do I have an ending for this video? The winds are roaring. The gods are praising us for our great effort. This is the moment of truth. Is it cooked? I really hope so. <laughs> I, hope so. I need an ending to this video. All right. 
So he's cutting off some of this meat. I'm seeing little bits of it. Yeah, oh my. Thank you. Who's the god of food? Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have some with you. I'll have the whole leg. Yeah, <laughs> pick it up. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It's all right. Oh, it's stunning. That is so delicious. It's nice. It's very tender. Just a ton of spices working together. Yeah, but but it, there's nothing sharp in it. You're right. You it's know? not overpowering yeah. at all. So you can see here, the roti is just caked in spices. The outside is still kind of dry and almost like it has a little crispy edge to it. The inside's a little soggy, soaking up all the spices. I want you to enjoy it with me. I mean, I did dig the hole, but you did everything else. And also I didn't dig the hole. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Mmm. Superb. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right. <laughs> Smart. Hold on. Look at him, Kai, over to the side. He's like, are you done? <laughs> Seriously, we want to eat. <laughs> We're doing a thorough food review over here. Okay. I, I think one more shot. One more take. Was that last one in focus? No, no, no. No, yeah, wasn't. I don't think no, it was. No, no, it wasn't. You ready? What is that? I'm in love. Feeling a little full, I mean bad for the others, we set out an entire spread. Two legendary Rajasthani dishes. Perhaps some of the most delicious food I've tried, not only in India, but anywhere. What should people know about Rajasthani food? Rajasthani food is so diverse. Every home has their own recipe. But this kind of food, not too many people know about. How would you rate this? Simple food is some of the best food I've ever had. But to me, it's not simple at all. It's taking a handful of ingredients and really elevating the food the most, yeah. absorbing and, all and, the spices. And amazing, it's not on any flame. Uh, and yet it's it's just melting in the mouth and the meat is just falling off the bone. Mm. Oh. Mouth pleasure. At least half the happiness in my life comes from mouth pleasure. True. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for this experience. I mean, desert cooking. Yeah. This is how you do it. I didn't know what to expect, but you've outdone yourself. I didn't but know myself if it's gonna be cooked. <laughs> it all worked out. Yeah. Huge thank you to Overlander for this custom.